The wonderful outfit that I have on today and this fantastic bag that's over my shoulder came from one lovely person, Gabrielle Clark. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Gabrielle, stay up late last night. Late. <laughs> if you ever know the old go to our yard, we're going to call it clothes. <laughs> oh, no, that rate are a little more. Mm. Did you know that African prints mean so much more than just a fashion statement? Some of us wear the prints for just that, but what do they actually mean? As I said, joining me now is fashion designer Gabrielle Clark, who is no stranger to us. She is a fashion print designer and owner, of course, of Outfits by Quaint. But this morning, she'll be talking to us about African prints and their meaning. Good morning. Good morning again. You sleep? Well, I did. I managed to get in a couple of hours. And a couple of hours sleep. That's fantastic. <laughs> okay, so I, I notice here that most of the African prints that I see have a set set amount of colors that are mm -hmm. very just common to most of the prints yeah. and it usually includes something like black or green or red or maybe a little bit of white every now and then but i know yeah. each of those have a specific meaning so you want to take me through each one let's start with the black well black i would say that could represent the color of our skin mm. as mm. africans afrocentric people jamaican people um in terms of the other colors, a color that's usually very common in African prints, mm -hmm. the mustard color that you're wearing, or, or, or what some people would call gold. Right. So that usually represents like wealth, riches, um, fertility, I guess. Me yeah. Me tell you, say not get back that skirt, you know, you think <laughs> a joke. Fertility? Yeah. I don't need that part there, but yeah. wealth, <laughs> wealth, riches, mm -hmm. yeah, and they says, uh, um, they, and then, they say, mm -hmm. of course, there's the white, which mm -hmm. they say represents purity. And uh, so why extra have on a white shirt then? <laughs> <laughs> and then, like and for also example, spirituality. They say the white also mm, represents yeah. a certain level of spirituality. Yeah. So usually in the religious, I I don't know if I should say ceremonies, mm -hmm. they tend to wear white mostly, yeah. and then they would combine that with other colors. So like in the Ethiopian culture, they would wear dresses, suits from white, yeah, specific type of cloth, I believe. And then they usually have the red, yellow, and green, mm -hmm. which is symbolic to the Ethiopian. And now to our yeah. Rastafarian exactly. culture, mm -hmm. which I think we. Um, one that we didn't talk about is blue. It represents love and peace, symbolizes mm -hmm. the sky, and it's a harmonious color. Yeah, and then cool. red represents tension. So why yeah, would I want to wear it? Well, it's just. I mean, that's the thing that comes to mind when you think of red, I guess. Yeah, so, tension in the mm -hmm. spiritual or political world and is viewed as the color of blood. But then there's maroon, though. Apparently, mm -hmm. it signifies the wealth of Africa or nice. Mother Africa, Mother Earth itself. Okay. So, well, I am wearing some of your pieces this morning, and mm -hmm. I, I really like the fact that you chose to use the African print. What, what inspired you or led you in that direction in terms of the print? That print specifically, or just any African print? Why? Why do you focus? Because most of your, as we can see on your models, mm -hmm. most of your stuff has a lot of African-inspired prints. Yeah. Attached. Well, that's pretty much the face of my brand, Afrocentric. So, I mean, my reason for really using African prints—that's what struck me the most when I first started fashion, and I was like, all right, so what am I going to use? The solid colors didn't really draw me, so I was mm -hmm. like, all right, African print. Then I became more versed in it, started looking at different patterns from different stores, and I started using different color combinations and that sort of stuff. So, so Quaint just mm. came about and had this whole Afrocentric theme to it. Yeah. When did you go from making just clothing into handbags and, and backpacks? Because those must be very difficult to make. Well, actually, I started out with clothes, but I was just making clothes for myself. And then I made myself a backpack for school. People really loved it, and so I was like, was all right, I might as well just sell this too. And then as I mastered each item, so I mastered the backpack, start looking for ways to make crossbody bags, mm -hmm. start looking for ways to make it make bags with a zip, with a flap, 
-hmm. that sort of stuff. So it's pretty much evolution yeah, for me. Definitely. Really. So speaking of bags, I noticed that you don't just limit yourself to using African fabric. You mm -hmm. go into the silvers and the denims yeah. and mm -hmm. I'ma say I'm um, extra with one when look like him on teeth watching me here because he yeah. got out of the street. Of it, I never... <laughs> yeah. So I noticed that you go all the way across. Is there anything mm -hmm. that you limit yourself from using? Like is there any fabric that you say, all right, no, that's not quaint. That's not for my brand. Well, honestly, anything. I wouldn't say that because, well, if it's something solid, so for example, you're never going to see me making a full black bag or yeah. a full silver bag. Yeah. It's always going to have some form of print. So you need the because print. Because that's just the face of my brand. That's just how I do it. Yeah. So it's always going to have African print. Um, I don't really use leather though. Yeah. Um, the leather, it works pretty fine for me, and then there's a wider variety of colors. Yeah. So I stick to that, and then there's a denim. I might just start doing different stuff in the future. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. Right, but where can we get your stuff? Is it sold in stores? Are you just delivery only? Where do I get it from? Well, for now, it's an online... I use an online platform nice. to sell my products. So people can find me on Instagram, on Facebook. Um... They can get me on WhatsApp. My okay, Instagram so handle, mm -hmm. should I? Okay, so the Instagram handle is at quaint by GSCJA. Mm -hmm. Q-U-A-I-N-T-B-Y-G-S-C-J-A. And you can also check out quaintbygsc.com. Oh, so you have so, an entire... Okay, Dwayne, can we... Come here. Come here. <laughs> if you take, if if you decide to dance from over here, over here, you're not gonna reach. Take my time. Yep. <laughs> well, look, gonna, gonna <laughs> please, if doing much anymore, at, <laughs> it, it can't get no better than that with the matching mm. though. Yeah. So but, you, you can turn around though, so them can see. Mm. Mm. And for this one, the map of Africa is actually vinyl printed. Oh, so nice. it's vinyl. Print. I noticed yeah. that a lot of your stuff. Have, have, have it, the, yeah, and yeah. it's very nice. I love it. I think I'm always looking for different ways to incorporate Africa itself, not just the print, yeah. but also the map. Mm. And you can see that I did an embroidery thing right there, right? The map on right. your top, and then I do that on the backpacks as well, but I don't have one of those with me. Okay, she, and then those are just printed. She says, You know, get this back, right? Yeah, but yeah, tell her, tell her, long time, so she's not getting back, man. So don't worry yourself. I'm not teeth, your teeth, mine. I don't know you. <laughs> okay, there you have it. Thank you so much for stopping by. So the next time you decide to get clothing made from African prints, you'll know what the design and the colors mean. Thank you so much for adding to our lesson this morning, Gabrielle. Yeah, and as I said, um, if you want to go to school looking chic, Afro chic is the way to go. Afro chic. Find her. Find no her and get some stuff. Support our local designers, guys, and get like an Africa in your system. Thank you so much for stopping by. We're going for a break. African Prince.